Welcome to Hungary to Travel. We're Chris and Steph, and we're in Istanbul, Turkey. We've just arrived in Istanbul, and already there's so much to see. With restaurants and coffee shops lining every street, we can't wait to tuck into all the amazing food around. Today, we're going to Istikal Cadesi in the buzzing touristy area of Taksim, near Taksim Square, to try some of the local street food, more specifically geared towards tourists. We're on Istikal Cadesi, also known as Istikal Street. It's one of the busiest tourist areas here in Istanbul because it's near Taksim Square. There's tons of restaurants around, lots of street food, so we're gonna check out the local fare and see what they got to offer. Come on. found some grilled corn. Um, I love me some corn, so uh, let's see how it tastes compared to corn back home in Canada. Should I put some salt in it? Yes, please. How are you today? Are you doing great? Good, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Where are you from? All right, so we got our grilled corn. Looks pretty good. Uh, it's got some good grill marks. So let's see how it tastes. Mm -hmm. It's got crunch to it. We put salt on it for me, so it actually tastes pretty salty as well. It's not as sweet as I was hoping. It's a tiny bit dry compared to corn back home. For five Turkish lira, I think it's pretty good. And five Turkish lira is about 50 cents USD, less than a dollar in Canada, so it's pretty good corn. The only thing missing is if we would have offered me some butter. <laughs> but all in all, it's pretty good corn. For the price, you can't beat it. Definitely would come back for another one. Let's see what else we got. Alright, so we've been walking around for a little while now and we've seen a few of these little bread carts. So we're gonna go and check them out and see what they are. Alright, so this is simit. So it's kind of like a bagel meets a pretzel type of bread. It's covered in roasted sesame. It looks really, really good. So let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Yeah, that's really good. So it's nice and like crispy on the outside. And definitely like a dense kind of bagel-y pretzel texture on the inside. That's tasty. And for two and a half lira, it's super, super cheap. It's only about, what, 25, 30 cents USD. So definitely a really nice, affordable option. If you're just walking down the street, you want a quick bite. If you want to take a couple back to your room with you later, it comes in a nice little bag at a lot of the stalls. So yeah, I think we're definitely going to be having some more of these while we're around. All right. Let's see what other food we can buy. So we've seen these Turkish ice cream guys in South Korea before, but never the real thing in Turkey like we are going to experience right now. So let's check it out and see if it is the real thing. Hello. Ice cream? Yes, please. Vanilla, chocolate, lemon, strawberry, pistachio mix. Ooh, um, I 
Just a stash? Ah, yes. Take it, lady. It's okay? Yeah. Here you go. Come here. Thank you. Here you go. What do you want? Jackson Square. There's still tons of food around, lots of food stalls, but we got one last thing to try. I'm super excited for this one, so I can't wait. Let's go see what it is. So we made it to our last location. We're getting an Islak hamburger. I have no idea what it is. Uh, it tr literally translates to wet hamburger, so I don't know what that means. I'm assuming it's something like Sloppy Joe, so let's find out. Here we are. Here is the Islak hamburger. Literally translates to wet hamburger. It smells, the smell of it, I can already smell it. Seems like it's been soaked in some tomato-y sauce, kind of like a sloppy joe. Let's have a taste. Mmm. That's really good. I haven't even gotten to the patty really yet. I mean, it's so delicious already. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. So, it's not quite like a sloppy joe as there's an actual hamburger patty in it. So I think it literally is a wet hamburger. You take the hamburger and they dip it into this tomato sauce. So it's a wet hamburger. I think I'm pretty happy. So this costs seven Turkish lira, which is about one dollar Canadian, less than one dollar USD. I think out of all the food we tried today, this is definitely this definitely takes the cake as the best thing we've tried today. It's really really tasty. Oh yeah. Mm. Overall, I think our first foray into Turkish street food has been a rousing success. Everything was super tasty, super affordable minus the Turkish ice cream, but you get what you pay for with the show and all. Next time, I think we'll travel to a different area and get more authentic, local Turkish cuisine, get away from the tourist area. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the next one that we post. All right, I'm gonna finish this and probably go get another one. So good. I'll catch you all next time. Stay hungry. So good.